I should be staying over here, but I, I feel inclined to look over here. So I am gonna do my best, my goddamn best to look only over here because looking, okay, whatever. My name is Lippy, and today we're gonna talk about my first time being in a market as an artist. So in previous events, I've been in art shows and in art markets specifically towards artists, right? This video is about me participating in a community local market events. I was a little hesitant in the beginning to participate and originally I was not going to at all. But then that morning of I decided, fuck it, let's do this. Because worst case scenario is I make no money. I make no money at all and it's not a, really a loss for me except my time and ed energy. It didn't cost me anything. But they had no fees for a booth or a table. The only requirement is that you bring your own table. So fortunately I had my own table and then I borrowed a tent from my parents when they use, when they vend at other events. Best case scenario, I get to interact with some old faces and they get to learn a little bit more about my business. A side note to add before I jump into the video is if you're a beginner artist or if you don't financially have the funds to go to bigger events in the cities, whether that be Dallas, Los Angeles, New York, or the bigger ones, participating in your com local community market events is a great way to generate revenue so you can keep your business going. I hope you guys enjoy it and find it resourceful. It's the morning of the market and I need to prepare some stickers so that way I have some products to sell. These stickers that I am currently making are part of my Zodiac Heart Kit collection. I originally made them specifically just for my shop but I thought they would be a great product to add to the market because they're not only specific, they can be targeted towards anyone because everyone has a Zodiac sign whether you take it seriously or you just like to think it's something cute and fun. And so they're also available on my shop and the other stickers that I did make with these are my cute little Nintendo holographic DS and my very very cute pancake stickers and so if you guys ever want a video on how to make stickers I'm more than happy to make that video but it's very it's pretty simple I self laminate them with holographic sheets and I use my Cricut machine to make them and then this is this is how they turn out At the time of the recording, they had not been listed on my shop yet, so behind the cameras, I did get some photographs of my listings and I uploaded them to my shop. So this is just me making sure that everything looks put together. One of the things I do need in the market that I do not currently have are some displays for my stickers. I used to have some acrylic stands, but based off previous art shows, I I didn't like their functionality, so I'm gonna create some new ones out of cardboard and some clothing pins, so that's gonna be fun. I'm actually gonna show you how I make that. For this display, you'll need wooden clothespins, a trifold cardboard thing, and hot glue. You'll lay out flat your cardboard thing, and then you'll line up your clothespins. Make sure you have enough space in between them, because when you glue them down, you want to make sure when your stickers are displayed, do they, they do not overlap one another. You can also paint the background of it. I painted it this ugly green, and I ended up regretting it, so I ended up changing it purple, purple before my next event. I am already sweating and all I did so far was put up all of the supplies I need for the art market in my car and I'm sweating profusely. This is my first time doing like this kind of market. I've always done like art shows but I don't know what to expect especially since this is my community, this is where I grew up. I, I didn't know how much to pack. I don't think I packed enough corrugated cardboard sheets. So this is where I'll be having my booth at. This is me setting up my little table. Turns out I didn't know how to work this table, so I ended up calling my dad to bring me another one. And then Samuel Ortiz, who's also another artist in the area, helped me set up my tent because turns out you can't set up with just one person. Who? I should have listened to my parents when they told me to wait, but yes. Um, my poor car, she got hit when we were setting it up, but it's all good. We were able to set it up together and my dad came up later to bring the blocks so she wouldn't fly away. And my mom came by to help me set up my displays and making sure that every look, everything looked pretty and clean. All of the art prints and stickers you see here are made by me and they're all inspired by either my childhood, my culture, little things that I loved growing up, as well as like some experiences I endured throughout my adolescence. And all of my stickers are always under $4. Always. I also wanted to stop by one of my old high school friend's booths. It's so great that she started up her own business and she's also here vending at the market. Get 
Esta se cierra así, mija. Earlier in the video, I had mentioned that I had no expectations, but if I did, they would have been past already. My community was so wonderful to me. They were so happy that I was back selling my art and they were asking what my future plans were. One of my plans is to host an unveiling party, but that's for another video, so stick around for that. Okay, so we have Marie. Hi. And then we have Valentina's boutique and it's so cute. This market only lasted two hours, but I did make a good enough amount of money that I was ready to go home because I was also hungry and tired. So shortly after this, I packed up. So I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed being in this event. It was really fun. From what I've been told by the organizers, they're gonna have this event once a month. So I'm very excited to be participating in the next one because the next one falls on September 13th during Hispanic Heritage Month. So I'll be making exclusive stickers because Hispanic Heritage Month is so special to me, especially as an artist. I'm someone who has a focus on making my art affordable to my community and something that they can relate to as well. So look forward to that. And if you can't come to my market, I will have my shop updated so that way you can see my exclusive stickers coming in. And also, I'm on Patreon now. I'm gonna have my Patreon linked down below. If you saw any stickers or art prints that you liked in that video, they're all listed on my shop. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, give me a comment. I want to continue seeing me grow as an artist, please subscribe and be part of this adventure. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys next week and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.